If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. As you create tables in Access, you want to relate the tables to access information from them through the shared or common fields by which they are joined. In Access, you create relationships, also called table joins, between tables in the Relationships window. To open the Relationships window for a database in Access, click the Database Tools tab in the ribbon. Then click the Relationships button in the Relationships button group to open the Relationships window. In the Relationships window, you add the tables from your database to relate to each other. Remember that to join two tables together, they must have shared fields. To help you add tables to the Relationships window, the Add Tables pane appears at the right side of the window with its Tables tab selected by default. Here, select the names of the table or tables to add. To select multiple tables at once, hold down the Control key on your keyboard while you click the table names to select them. After selecting the table or tables, then click the Add Selected Tables button at the bottom of the Add Tables pane to add the selected tables to the Relationships window. To close the Add Tables pane when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. To reopen the Add Tables pane, click the Add Tables button in the Relationships button group on the Design tab of the Relationship Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. After adding the necessary tables to the Relationships window, you can then create joins between the common fields in the tables as needed. To relate two common table fields in the Relationships window in Access, click and drag the shared field from one table and drop it on top of the common field in the related table to establish a join between them based on the values in the common field. You can click and drag from either one of the fields onto the other. Make sure, however, that you pay attention to which two fields you are joining. It is possible to join any two fields that have the same data type so make sure you don't accidentally join two fields you don't mean to join. If you do this, you can delete the join between the table fields in this window too. After you drag and drop a field from one table onto another, the Edit Relationships dialog box opens and shows the relationship you are creating between the two table fields. Double check you have selected the correct fields in both tables, labeled as Table Query and Related Table Query, and use the drop-downs to select the correct fields to relate if you made a mistake when dragging and dropping them if needed. To enforce referential integrity between the fields, which is recommended for most permanent joins between tables in Access databases, check the Enforce Referential Integrity checkbox. If checked, you can also optionally check the Cascade Update Related Fields and or Cascade Delete Related Records checkboxes as needed. We will discuss enforcing referential integrity and cascading updates and deletions in the next lesson in more detail. To then create the relationship, click the Create button in the Edit Relationships dialog box. If referential integrity is enforced, then when you create a join, Access will then assign it one of the relationship types based on the primary key assignments of the fields you are relating. The join will be either a one-to-many relationship in which one record in the parent table has multiple related records in the child table, a one-to-one -one relationship in which every record in the parent table has a single related entry in the child table, or the indeterminate join, which usually means you made an error when joining the fields as this type of join is very rarely used. Access will determine the relationship type automatically when you create the join. In the Relationships window, primary key fields appear with a black key icon next to their names in the table diagrams. Joined fields also share a little black join line or black join arrow depending on the join type and whether referential integrity is enforced between the common fields in the two tables. This indicates the join type. To save your changes in the Relationships window in Access, click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar when finished. To close the Relationships window, click the Close button in the Relationships button group on the Design tab of the Relationship Tools contextual tab in the ribbon.
Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.